When actually is it the Ballon d'Or gets picked on FIFA? Because I swear, if Calvert Lum is not there, I might actually shed a tear. What is going on, lads? Welcome back to my FIFA 21 Next Gen Everton Career Mode. Obviously, a spoiler alert, by the way. So if you haven't watched the last episode, go watch it before I get into this. All right, for the people that's carry on watching it, um, obviously with the previous results, not the greatest. Um, we finally ended our unbeaten streak, which were guttering. We lost against Wolves, and then it carried on through to lose against Man United. We beat Southampton 4-0, which I wasn't bothered about, as you could tell by the last episode, because I was just that much in a mood because of the previous games. But um, hopefully, I've woke up in a positive mood. Let's try and keep it that way. But for this episode, we have got some massive games to play. I mean, we've got Manchester City. And that's really it. Obviously, I'm not going to count these out with the previous results. I always say fixtures easy. Said it before the Wolves game, we lost 2-1. Um, I mean, even who were at West Brom, we drew two. Um, I said that really easy game, we should be winning that, and we never did. So I'm not going to count these out. I'm not going to say easy, easy games, which they should be, but they're not for me. In the last episode, I did ask people to leave transfer suggestions in the comments because, I mean, the transfer window is what? It's literally an episode away, like the next episode. I'm so excited for it, bringing some new faces. Um, I did manage to get one back, being a good shout, Todd Cantwell. Um, I've recently just sold Alex Awobi for 20 million, I think it were, and I can't remember who to. Um, so obviously I need a backup for Richarlison. Could keep players like Bilassi, but I probably should move them on just for the contract. Um, so Todd, um, Todd Cantwell is young, is decent. I mean, the assist that he got in pre-season, absolutely unreal. So it's a decent shout, and I mean, he's got a face scan, so it's just bonuses all around. But please do feel free to leave some more. Like I said, I am wanting like starting 11 players. I'm also wanting young players to eventually bring into the team or just back up players because I'm really struggling. I wouldn't say I'm struggling with squad depth, but I could do with better squad depth options. But this is how the table is looking at the start of the episode anyway. Um, obviously, we lost our previous two, obviously losing to Manchester United as well, so they've closed the gap. They're just one point behind now. But we are still top, regardless of the two losses. We've got two draws, 13 wins. We're on such a good streak, and then it just crumbled really bad, and especially losing against Man United to close the gap. It's not the greatest, but I mean, we're still top. Are we going to stay top? I don't know, but I'm going to try anyway. But now it's time for the first game of the episode. Let's be honest, it's not the greatest to start to the episode. We've got Manchester City, just Manchester City, you know. The benches probably could make it into any team in the world. Um, but I'm going to play my strongest 11, obviously. I don't want to risk it at all. I'm probably going to get slapped, and then I'm probably going to get put in a mood for the rest of the episode. And then I'm going to lose every single one. That's my prediction. But um, regardless of that, I am still going to try to win this. Great tackle, Mason Allgate. Come on, break from this. Yes. Runs. Has that made it? No. Oh, it has. Mark Edwards. It's through. Oh, my God. That was such a good um, chance here. I didn't think that ball was going to go through, but I think it was Hamas Rodriguez or Andrew Gomez. I can't remember. I think it was Hamas. I didn't think it was going to go through, but I was so unlucky not to score there. I don't think anybody expected him to be top at this point, but you can definitely Mate, see... What a run by Mason Allgate. Didn't expect that. He wants it back as well. Cavill is through. Mason Allgate with an assist. He has as well. Calvert Lewin is unreal on this game. Like, I don't need Vinaldo. I don't need Romelu Lukaku. I've got Calvert Lewin. That's my number nine. I cannot wait for FIFA 22. He's got a new face scan, which I just can't wait for. Zed Cars is on the game. This FIFA 22 out to Karim is going to be mental. Good tackle. Counter. We're good at counters. So that way we actually get moving from counters. What a ball. Calvert Lewin. Honestly. He just needs to stay level Carver Lewin, get this man the Ballon d'Or. Like, there's no other player that deserves it besides this man. <laughs> like, normally, like, I'm not going to lie, in personal saves, I really don't like Carver Lewin. He feels really chunky. I don't know whether it's because I've got updated um, updated game saves, like the more updated with uh, FIFA. But he just feels so slow. But on this, he's unreal. He scores every chance he gets. Well, not every, but you get what I mean. We're really good at counters. I think the past two goals have been counters. Could be through here. Allen. He's a little machine. Bulldog Allen. Are we just going to give him a goal? Nah, I swear it's Calvert Lewin. That's somehow come off. That has somehow come off. Calvert Lewin is our. What do I compare to? R9? He's our. Nah, it's a bit disrespectful to Calvert Lewin. He is unreal. Yeah, majority of his goals have been tappings, but you've got to be there to score him. I mean, you're not going to take the golden boot away from him just because they're all tappings. He is absolutely unreal. I mean, Calvert Lewin has caused me proper problems here. Like, I've already called one episode after him. I can't do it again. Or can I? What a ball. Jesus Christ, what a bit of play. I did not expect that. He scored again. Is that an hat trick? That's an hat trick, innit? 
I'm gonna have to call it after him. This, this is a thing I'm actually gonna have to. I can't not. It's just disrespectful. So he's gonna have two episodes named after him. This man is on a mission for this Ballon d'Or, honestly. I just didn't speak because it was that quick after kicking off from second half. And everything's just done that. Why do we create so much space, put so many passes together against Manchester City, but we can't do it against bloody West Brom? Mate, Marcus Edwards, that's unreal. That is unreal. That's assist. That's probably the best assist I've seen. Carver Lewin is unreal. Marcus Edwards, that assist. What is how am I beating five, uh, Man City five 0 But yeah, I can't beat Wolves. I need to let that last episode go. But it's so frustrating. I'm buzzing, but I'm frustrated after seeing this. Walt Table Carver Lewin is playing absolutely off here. I don't even know what I'm trying to say then. Richardson. Carver Lewin has he? He has on it. He's contributed to every single goal this game. I need to get out, I need to show by him, it's just unreal, it's just, I don't understand, like my personal saves is awful, and then on this is amazing, I've still got the sliders, I've still got the same difficulty, like, what's going on? What a tackle Yerimina, honestly lad, that's unreal, okay Mason Allgate, okay. that was so lucky, Yerimina, absolutely incredible tackle, like, they were definitely scored then, I mean they should have scored there. I really don't like Mason Olga in this game, there's something about him, but Yeremino, what a tackle. Mate, that game was mental, managed to beat City 6-0. I cannot beat West Brom, I cannot beat Wolves, but yeah, I could beat City with ease. Like, they had a couple of chances, but that's really it. Calvert-Lewin is incredible, like, seriously, tip this man for the Ballon d'Or, he should be winning it this year. When actually is it the Ballon d'Or gets picked on FIFA, because I swear, if Calvert-Lewin is not there, I might actually shed a tear. Right, no messing about, on to our next game against Burnley. That game was incredible. I generally can't get over it. Like, I'm happy it happened, but I'm frustrated that we can do that and then lose, like, well, draw against West Brom, lose against Wolves. But yeah, we're playing Burnley. I've rotated the team just a little bit. I in Alex Warby, Jibamini, Godfrey, Aaron's. I'm not too much of a rotated team because whenever I rotated, to be fair, whenever I rotated a little bit, I've still lost. But um, having said that, <laughs> please don't do that. Cavalt Lewin. Why does this game keep wanting me to talk about Cavalier? And this man is unreal. Like, that's all I need to say, really. This man is just different gravy. 2 0. I swear that's the Cavalier assist as well. This man's just on form. I don't know when it's come out of because I'm pretty sure the first couple of episodes of the series, he weren't really involved that much. And now he's just, I mean, he's our best player. I was considering selling him just so I could bring in like a Ronaldo for jokes just to end off the series. But, um,. That's not happening. Fresnel, Jesus. Honestly, what is going on with this team? Like, we've gone from the last episode to this. Like, if this happened last episode and then this happened this, we could be so, like, front in league. I mean, we're, what? So that's a 3 0 win. How far are we away from Man United now? I'm not going to lie. Even coming from the person that's just said it, I do not have a clue what I tried to say in that clip. Um, watching it back, I keep watching it back, don't have a clue, so I do apologise, but um, yeah, roll on the rest of the episode. But now moving on to the third game of the episode, it's going so well, hopefully it carries on, we are playing Crystal Palace at home, hardly rotated the team, I've added um, Ryan Gravenberch in just to replace Gomez, just because he's a bit tired, um, but that's really it, hopefully we can just dominate these like we did against City, but I've got a feeling it's not going to be as easy as that. So to beat your opponent. That's right. Like I said, not as easy as I thought it would have been. We just, I don't know, there's teams like this that we just can't break down. I don't know if because majority of them play five at back, so I find that hard to break down. Um, City are known for pressing, so I can easily get behind the lines. I just don't know, there's something about these, I want to say awful teams, but lower teams to City that I just can't deal with. Oh, love a bit of play. Marcus Edwards. Never do that again. Slow build up play, no need to rush. No need to rush at all. Yes, DCL, got a bit of movement. Yes, DCL, DCL's through. Oh, I couldn't get an end of it. Here he has. Gary Keel, have a day off, just retire already. Oh, just retire already. How have I not scored the. Uh... Oh, that's so annoying. Beautiful, I miss. Yes, Hardwoods, come on. Said his name really weird then. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Carver Lewin, it had to be him, didn't it? It had to be him. Yes, I probably could have shot with Edwards. Did I mean that on purpose to get it to Carver Lewin? 
No, I just saw someone in the air and luckily it were in. This man's so much fun. I'm really enjoying playing with Marcus Edwards as well. I know the spotlight's been on um, Calvert Lewin, but Edwards has been unreal this episode. Good play. I'll tell you what, this is beautiful. Oh, I couldn't carry it on. It's going to him anyway. Oh, that was such a poor touch. That could have been another goal, but it's just come away from him. We are playing incredible. I mean, besides their goal, we've been all over him. Like, our play has been immaculate. DCL's yet again still on fire, like someone needs to put him out. Just, I don't understand what's happened to this team. Don't know what the, what the hell. What happened then? I mean, Zaha just played one of the maddest of balls. That sounds a bit weird. Mark Edwards, what's your passing? Because that's unreal. Like, I'd love to see your passing stats. Okay, that was such a... I've just realised the play against Michael Keane. Mate, we need to win this now, just for the mistake that it caused at Southampton. Yes, come on, Edwards. Come on, Edwards, you've been unreal as well, lad. Don't worry about it. It's not all on Calvert-Lewin. Oh, he's not managed to score. Oh, huh. I mean, honestly, he's been unreal. Some of his runs, his passing's been literally... I don't understand how his passing's been that good. I don't even think his passing stats are that good. But every single ball he's played has been absolutely unreal. I've been buzzing with our performance, but it's not going to be any good if we don't win this game. Come on. Come on. Ryan Gravenberch is making a run. I see it. I play it. Ryan Gravenberch is passing, not Ryan Gravenberch. Oh, you're awful, lad. Marcus Edwards passing's unreal, and then you've just... You've not rewarded it. Oh, I have not scored. Good ball. Yes, come on. We've been all over these. We deserve a goal. Go on, Richie. I'll not play it yet. I'll wait till more get in box. I've lofted it. Oh, he's not going to ender it. Oh, there were two options. I've lofted it to see if one of them got an ender it and none of them did. Come on, blow whistle, ref. Jesus Christ. I mean, we drew a game, which I'm not happy with, but our performance that game was unreal. I don't get how we've not won it, especially that Ryan Graven Birch chance. I don't understand how we've not won it, but I mean, there's a lot of positives to take from that performance. And I mean, probably another episode we could have easily lost this one honestly i still can't get my head around how we've not won that but onto our next game you know, shifting out of the way another five at bat luckily i'm not playing this one i am simulating i don't understand why we're in the use kit so i'll call it change yet again but this is the last game it's been an incredible episode i mean the result against crystal palace not the greatest we should have won incredible performance but not a great result but um hopefully we can carry it on and hopefully make up for it by getting three points in this game and maybe another dcl goal who knows Okay, I don't even know what happened then. Hamish Rodriguez has got a goal 12 minutes in. <laughs> I generally don't know what to say. I'm just speechless at how well we've been performing. Like I said, not the greatest of results um, against, obviously, Crystal Palace, but we have played absolutely incredible this episode. I decided to jump to result because, um, I mean, we were all over him. We won 3-0. Hammers obviously get the first goal that he saw. And then, uh, why can't I go up here? For some reason, the game's broke. It won't let me go up to actually show you what happened. But um, if you can look at the bottom right, Marcus Edwards did get two goals. So surprisingly, not a Calvert Lewin goal. That was really shocking. I'm guessing he didn't want to score against his um, former club. But um, unreal, 3 0. This episode has been mental. But after that game, we are now officially in the January transfer window. And I've just seen something, by the way. Let me try and get it back up. For the Premier League Player of the Month for December, Marcus Edwards in there, which, fair enough, I agree. Why is Calvert Lewin not there then? Like, he casually just scored four, contributed in every single goal of the game we beat 6 0 against City, by the way. And he's not there. I mean, I'm happy Edwards is there, but how is Cavalry not there? But before we end this episode, I just want to elaborate how incredible this man is. Um, scoring 20 goals in the Premier League. Um, I think the record's 32 in a Premier League season held by Mo Salah. So for us to beat that with Carvalho Lewin would be incredible. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. 20 goals. Unreal from you, lad. And then moving on to one of the reasons why Cavalry has got so many goals. Mark Edwards, 10 assists. He has our highest assister in the club. I mean, Cavalry in second. So can we just speak how incredible this man is? Probably six of them. No, four of them are probably against Manchester City, which, I mean, not everyone can say that. But Marcus Edwards, wow. But this is where I am going to end today's episode. Hope you all have enjoyed. I definitely have been a complete different episode to the last one. So it's been incredible to play. But now that we're in the January transfer window, make sure you leave some more suggestions. I'm probably going to make January like a two-episode kind of thing, just so I can get some transfer um, suggestions in there. I might just make it one. I don't know. But um, yeah, like I said, hopefully I'll have enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. If you want me to carry on double uploading this, by the way, until probably like FIFA 22, I'll happily do that. I mean, I'm enjoying it, so I don't see why not. Subscribe if you're new. It goes a long way. And yeah, that's it from me. Take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Later.